Hello guys, I'm Kim Jason and welcome to the Plan Prince PH. In this video, I'm going to share to you 10 quick beginner tips on planting and caring for succulents. First tip, choose a healthy succulent. Don't buy a succulent that is etiolated, infested with pests, has soggy and dry leaves, or basically unhealthy looking. You want to start your collection by choosing healthy succulents with nice color, form, and shape. This is why it is important to choose your trusted seller when buying online and to carefully check the succulent when buying on a local garden store. Tip number two, use a gritty soil mix. Unlike other plants, succulents are quite picky and choosy with their soil. A suitable soil mix should be well draining, able to hold the right moisture and nutrients, provide enough air channel to allow the roots to breathe, and doesn't contain excessive fertilizer. Tip number 3. Choose a pot with drainage hole. Succulent in pots without drainage holes are prone to becoming overwatered. Water log can result to root rot, which is a condition that can kill your succulent easily. Drainage holes allow water in the soil to drain freely so that air exchange will be available for the roots. The best type of pot is clay or terracotta since it allows moisture and air exchange in its wall. Tip number 4. Don't water your succulent after repotting. This one is a common mistake that beginners do. Unlike other plants that requires water right after transplanting, succulents on the other hand will benefit if watering is postponed for a week. This will allow the cuts in the roots and stem of the succulents to have enough time to heal and callus, since open wounds can cause bacterial rots. Tip number 5. Sun Requirements Succulents do well in bright area with some protection from intense sun exposure. Do not put them inside the house. Succulents require at least 6 hours of sunlight and a very bright exposure the rest of the day. But for newly potted succulents, you need to slowly introduce them to the sun. A simple guide will be an additional hour every 5 to 7 days until the succulent can handle longer sun exposure. During summer, succulent will benefit from a garden net and a UV plastic sheet. This will protect them from the harsh scorching sun that can easily burn the leaves of your succulents. In addition, UV plastic sheet will also protect your succulents from too much rain. Tip number 6. Water when the soil mix is dry. Succulents also need water, but too much water can lead to overwatering. Thus, the rule of thumb is to allow the soil mix to dry completely in between watering. This will depend on the soil mix, climate, and the type of pot you use. One indication that a succulent need water is when its bottom leaves started to wrinkle. Usually, I water once every 7 to 15 days, depending on the succulent and the factors I mentioned. When watering, I use watering can that has a long nozzle or spout. You may want to water until the water drains in the hole. Tip number 7. Groom your succulents. Dry and decaying leaves will result to poorer air circulation. It will also make the base of the succulent stay moist for a longer period. These two are some factors that encourage the growth of fungi and attract pests. Thus, keeping your succulents clear from dry and decaying leaves will lessen the likelihood of these pests. Tip number 8. Protect them from other factors. You have to protect your succulents from pets. Succulents are tender plants and most of them can be easily damaged. You can place your succulents on cages or in elevated location wherein your far bodies can reach them. Moreover, you also need to protect your succulent from the itchy hands of your neighbors. There are several succulent that produce farina which is a fine powder on the leaves. The farina protects the succulents from too much sunlight. Thus, try to refrain in touching the foliage. Tip number 9. Don't hesitate to ask for help. There are several groups in Facebook that can help you. National Cactus and Succulent Organization of the Philippines Incorporated, Cactus and Succulent Growers, Succulent Republic, and the Succulent Club Philippines. If you have any question about your succulent, you can take a picture of it and post it in the groups so people can help you identify what's the problem or help you with the ID. Last tip is don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged when your succulents die. It's normal for beginners to kill some of their succulents. 
treat it as a part of learning even seasonal and experienced grower experience depths of plants. Be patient and enjoy gardening. Time makes everything better. Instead of getting discouraged, do some research and don't hesitate to experiment. Remember that each grower will need to find the best growing methods for his or her condition. The tips I share to you are those that I think will help you the most. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and share it with your friends. If you have any care tips to share, don't hesitate to leave a comment. For more content just like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you're the first to be notified when there are new videos released. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!